So if you are interested in uh, purchasing a two-family uh, condominium project, um, buying one unit, uh, the first thing I would look at would be the condition of the common areas. Um, you have to understand that uh, once you buy into a condominium, you're going to be responsible for the upkeep of at least half of the building. Um, so you want to make sure that all those things are kept up to date. Um, obviously you're responsible for the interior, but don't forget about the exterior. Um, your neighbor will be asking you uh, to make contributions towards those uh, needed upgrades as applicable. Uh, the other is just generally um, speaking as your neighbor. Uh, if you're used to renting an apartment and you don't get along with your neighbor, it's significantly easier to move out of that house uh, or apartment and find another place to live as opposed to having to sell your house because you can't seem to get along with your neighbor. So I do try when I have a represented client that is buying into a small condominium project to uh, talk to the neighbor to make sure that, that just get a general idea that they're going to be a good fit and they'll be able to live cooperatively together. Um, and then the next is really just to talk to them about making sure that going forward that they're willing to put money into a capital reserve account. Uh, and that's for any kind of future common area needs and fixes, which uh, most small condominium projects uh, don't do. And uh, then when something becomes due, they're going to be asking for what they call a special assessment to pay either paint the house or do the roof. Uh, so rather than take money every month to, to do those future projects, all of a sudden they've got a big bill for five or $6,000. And again, going back to your neighbor, maybe you can afford to do that, but maybe your neighbor can't and then you'll have a bigger problem. And one question, Michael, if you have a, if your neighbor is somehow in, you're in a two, two unit condo, say a house converted to two units, the neighbor's having financial troubles, is not making the common area payments, and obviously things like homeowner's insurance would require you to keep your roof and things like that, mm -hmm. property taxes need to be paid. What is the, if you're the solvent other owner, what, do you, what could you possibly be responsible for that your neighbor is, if they're not paying stuff? What could you be held responsible for? Well, you know, if it's something like insurance or other major uh, uh, component, I do recommend that uh, if they can afford to do it, pay for the whole thing. Um, upon moving out of the house or selling the house for the neighbor, or in most, in a lot of cases for simply refinancing, the uh, neighbor's going to ask you as a fellow homeowner and a part of the condominium association for something called a 6D certificate. And that's saying that all the special assessments and all common area fees have been paid. Now, if he hasn't paid his share of the insurance, when he comes and approaches you saying, I'm selling the house and I need a 6D certificate, it's in your uh, option, it's called a, um, you know, a super lien, to say, no, you owe me this money first, and then you can sell your home. Okay, but do, would you, in the meantime, is there anybody make the things that you have to pay for, even if, the other, if, you're, if you're co, I don't know what you call the other person, you know, your other your co-condo uh, mm -hmm. associate there couldn't pay for it. What, do you, what, do you, what could you have to pay for while they're, Whatever usually, they're going through. You know, it's usually just, just the insurance. Mm. Um, you know, the, the, they'll separate the tax bill. Um, and uh, then most likely maybe water. Uh, most of the small town, uh, small two-family projects have well, only one water meter. Mm. Um, so you're, you're asking for contributions from both unit owners to pay the one bill. Uh, if they're not paying any kind of bills, then you're stuck with the water bill as well. It's not too, too terrible in the short run, um, but it, it can start adding up if it goes on. For a longer period of time. Yeah, well, thanks, Michael. I appreciate it. Thank you.